good morning. Uh, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure some slots on our on one of our training parts here. Um, we've got uh, multiple slots and um, uh, we're gonna measure them all uh, we'll, and we'll throw in a copy command in there as well just to give you an idea. But uh, basically zone 3 has got a slot tool. Uh, you build, you basically tell it you're gonna measure it um, and uh, it's uh, you measure it using arcs, lines, and uh, um, there's multiple ways to do that. Uh, I would like to note this is not aligned to CAD, but this this part is fully aligned. So um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and um, take a look. If you haven't, if you know how to align this part, go ahead and take a look at my video on that. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, fire this up and say, hey, we're going to measure a closed slot. And in this case, I'm going to use my feature finder. Um, and so, like, here's the slot. If I look at it like that, you know, it kind of comes along here. Yeah, there's that slot. It's, it's the classic 3D, uh, the classic uh, fast start training part. So uh, we'll start at the end here. And what we'll do is we're going to measure an arc. So to measure an arc, I need to get the arc tool. And I get that by toggling in and out there. So I actually... That's not what I wanted at all. So uh, here we go. So we're going to click it once. Now that I've got the arc selected, go in the middle, and the end it grabs an arc. All right. So coming along here, I'm going to drag along this side. And you know what? I don't. I don't like that it's only got two points. So I'm going to increase those. So I'm going to click on line here, uh, get in that point cloud. I'm going to increase that to. And I'll click it. 30 and see what it gives. So that's probably a little too many. Uh, eh, 15. So there. Ah, I picked up some good points. Okay. So now I want to go back to collecting points. So I have to click in the yellow. Click the blue so it uh, turns yellow. And then let's put our parts. Put the edge that we're trying in the center of the field. And as I go along, should be okay here. That one didn't take real well. Let's try it again. There we go. And you don't have to do all of them. Just kind of go along here. It just wants to know the boundaries. It's going to create it for you. Uh, and I'm just using the shift click, putting where I want to measure next in the center of the field. I'm going to go here, there. Ah, did it again. So let's drag right there. Yeah. And we'll go right here. And then we'll measure that end here. Turn it to an arc. There we go. Uh, we could turn on the reporting for this. Um, so nominal length is 0.875. Nominal width is 0 0.100. I can put in my tolerances. We'll just go 3,000 tolerance. And we'll turn on both of those. If I want to send it to the results filter, it's right there. Always, always. We'll go ahead and click save. Actually, let's run it real quick. Make sure it runs. So we hit run. Kind of goes along. Good. It's picking up points. Nice. There you go. Happy with it. I can hit save. On this part, there are some other slots as well. Uh, these have square ends. This part's a little crooked because I was demonstrating that. So, a little crooked here, but we could also measure slot here. Close slot 2D. And I'm just going to drag across a line here. There's one. Go down along this way. Just going to drag multiple edges. Kind of getting out of the center there, aren't we? And then we'll kind of close it up at the end here. Alright, and so I'll report this one. Nominal width is 0 0.500. And the width is 0 0.050. And, uh,. That seems way off. Let's, uh, yeah, we're okay with that. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and click slay, Save. Now, uh, if you look at the model window here, here's the model window, and we uh, let's go to top view. Um, and what we're sitting there is we've got this whole slot right in there. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to copy that slot. I'm going to copy it over. Uh, I've got three of them, and they're on a 0.125 uh, offset. So what I'll do is I'm going to go slot. I'm going to copy this step, and uh, this is a linear copy uh, with an X offset of 0.125. And I know that it's 0.125 because I programmed this part quite a bit. Um, but uh, on the print, it says that the next slot should be about, about uh, uh, 0.125 inch away from there. And I do have it fully aligned. So I'm going to make two copies. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create them. And it creates two slots. And just hit the run. Let's see what happens. So there's the first slot I measured. Pretty quick. Second one's picking up pretty good. Not as nice as I'd like it, you know, but yeah. So there we go. Our run, run exclusion. It's uh, of course we've got uh, looking at there. Looking at it might be a little out of tolerance there. Maybe a little bit bigger, but um, that's measuring slot and using a copy. So uh, hopefully this helps uh, you measure slots. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. My name is Eric Lunt from Productivity Quality Inc. Uh, we do offer full zone three training. All right. Take care.